Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Azure Virtual Desktop series. And this is the very first video in the series. And as you already know, before we start anything, we ask these questions. What is this? Why we use this? What are the use cases? And what are the benefits if it is a different technology? So in the same way, we are going to understand Azure Virtual Desktop. So what is Azure Virtual Desktop? Well, as the name says, it is a desktop and application virtualization technology. Azure Virtual Desktop is also known as AVD. It used to known as WVD. Now it has a lot of enhancement and now they have relaunched, relaunched it as a, a Azure Virtual Desktop. And if you if you're absolutely beginner, you're absolutely new with this term, desktop and app virtualization, it is more like you are accessing the desktop from your own device, which is sitting somewhere else. It's just, just for an idea what it is for the absolute beginners, okay? So now, as I said, you are accessing the desktop, which is running on Azure from your own device. So the question is, what all devices ABD is compatible with? Well, you can, you can work with Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and Linux. Yes, it's not only about the laptop. You can also use devices like Android or tablet or phone or things, right? So you can also use most modern browsers to access Azure Virtual Desktop hosted experience. So what that means, that simply means, let me write that down here. This will help us. You can access desktop with the help of a client. Client is just like a small application that you install on your phone or your on your tablet, or on your device. And you can also use browser, modern browser to access your desktop that you have access to, or maybe the application that you have access to. You will understand everything, how the desktop is created or host pool is created or applications are attached to the, to the host pool and give access to the users. For now, uh, if somebody asks you or you need to understand, you need to ask yourself, what is Azure Virtual Desktop? So the answer is it is, uh, desktop and app virtualization service that runs on Microsoft Azure, okay? There are so many technologies for the virtual desktop, but we are here talking about Azure Virtual Desktop, which is a managed service. Just like many other managed services that Azure provides, like Azure SQL, you can run the SQL on Azure Virtual Machine or any virtual machine. You need to buy the license, install it, and work on it. But Azure gives you the Azure SQL as a managed service, just like uh, Kubernetes is a managed service and many other services, okay? All right, so we now understand what is uh, AVD or Azure Virtual Desktop. Now let's try to understand why, why we need this technology, why we need this service, what are the use cases? Well, before we can, uh, before we come to the use case, let's check this, what we talked about till now, what exactly this AVD is providing. Well, it's providing virtualized desktop and applications. That means data never leaving your data center. You may be using your device to access it, but data never leaving the data center. 
See, a lot of things coming in your mind, right? Security regulations. I know that's why security and regulation. Now, wait, did I just said your device? Well, yes, it could be your device. So what that means, no dependencies of corporate owned devices and their management or installing and configuring VPN, those things. One more thing, we are giving access to users for AVD from Azure. Well, it means we can revoke the access as well whenever work is done, means contractor working from limited time. Now, if we conclude why ABD needed or use case, that would be right here, security and regulation. Security and regulation applications like finan finance or, or financial services, healthcare and government, they prefer, they prefer the data should not leave the data center. They prefer that security regulations. Elastic force needs like uh, remote work, mergers and acquisition, short-term employees, contractors and partner access are the good use case. Specific employees like uh, bring your own device, mobile users, call centers and branch workers can utilize this wonderful technology. Now, in this situation, you need, you need not to distribute the laptop to e each and every employee. So of course, for the startups, they can save some money uh, by not sending laptop at the beginning or sending only the initial or small configuration devices to the users and utilize this technology. Specialized workloads like design and engineering, legacy apps and software development test. Well, these are some uh, use cases where we can utilize this AVD or <clears throat> now, as I was also saying, there are so many other technologies available for the VDI or the remote work. Why AVD? Why one should use AVD? You know Citrix, you know VDI, you know RDS. So till now, we managed to understand what it is and the use cases, why we're gonna use it. Now let's see the benefits, okay? The very first benefit that uh, we see is managed service. Just like any other managed services by utilizing AVD, you have less admin overhead, overhead. no need to maintain gateway broker or, or web access. Trust me, to maintain those things, to configure those things, it is a hell of work. Pay as you go service, just like any other service in cloud, you have to pay for what you use. Native security like Azure Monitor is Sentinel has wonderful easy integration and it will secure and comply your and keep your system compliant. Well, MSIX, AppAttach and FS logic profile containers can help in separating OS from user profile and applications. I'll need to explain this a little bit, but in a minute, let me complete the benefits first. Well, it can be integrated with Azure DevOps with, with the help of uh, image builder extension and the entire process could be automated. Now, Azure Compute Gallery is something that will help you to replicate images in other regions and also maintain image versions almost free of cost. And the beauty is uh, till now, all the technologies had the uh, multi-session only on the servers, not on the client machines, but with AVD, you can have multi-session on Windows 10 and 11 as well. Now, uh, AVD utilizes Microsoft Azure's native scaling model to allow organizations to pay for what they use. In comparison, Citrix traditionally focuses on heavy capital investment for 
on-prem hardware and software to provide an end-to-end -end solution. And it also requires less licenses as compared to any other technology or let's talk Citrix. Well, these are few benefits of AVD or uh, utilizing AVD. So I was talking about MSX uh, app attach and FS logics. So what exactly is happening in, uh, in AVD or virtual desktop? Well, let's suppose this is what they are actually virtualizing. Let's suppose this is the VM. Inside the VM we have, uh, we have OS, okay? We have OS. Inside the VM, we do have our uh, applications. And we do have profile. So what is the motive of AVD is they are going to distribute or uh, disintegrate this so that there is no dependency. You can easily manage your OS and you can manage apps through MSI app, app attach and you can manage profile through FS logics. So there is no dependencies. You can upgrade your OS. You can do whatever you wanna do with your OS because your apps are not actually uh, installed on the OS. They are different. You can work on the applications uh, without shutting down the OS. You can work on profile and things like that. That is the that is the motive. In future, I'm telling you, this is gonna come. Your OS would be totally independent. Your apps would be totally independent of the OS and so goes with the profile. Well, with this, uh, let's complete this video. Well, thank you for watching. And in next video, we'll see the architecture of ABD so that we can understand the technology better. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye-bye.